Welcome to RK Tutorials. Solutions to Engineering Mechanics by S. Timushenko, D. H. Eng, J. V. Rao, and Sukumar Pati. In this tutorial, we will discuss problem set 2.3, problem number 2.36. A force P is applied at point C as shown in the figure. Determine the values of angle alpha for which the larger of the string tension is as small as possible and the corresponding values of the tension in the strings 1 and 2. Now, the concept required to solve the problem is, if any system consisting of string, rope, wires, etc., the force is along the string and it is away from the support. With this concept, let us go to the solution of this problem. Let us try consider the free body diagram at point C. Two strings 1 and 2 are connected and a force P is applied at point C. So there are various forces acting at point C are the force P towards right side, the force along the string 1 that is S1 and it is away from point C. The force along string 2, S2, away from point C. Now, we can transfer all these three forces onto a separate XY plane. The force P, the force S1, and the force S2. Now, the string 1 makes an angle alpha with the vertical. So, I can say that the S1 makes an angle alpha with the vertical. Similarly, string S2 makes an angle 60 degrees with the vertical, hence S2 makes an angle 60 degrees with the vertical. Then what about the angle between S1 and S2? By considering this triangle, so the angle between S1 and S2 will be 120 minus alpha, hence this angle becomes 120 minus alpha. Now there are three forces. All three forces are concurrent. And all three forces are divergent. So I can apply the sign principle. Now, according to the sign principle, the force P divided by sine of angle between the two forces S1 and S2 is constant. That means P divided by sine of angle between S1 and S2 is 120 minus alpha. And P divided by sine 120 minus alpha is equal to S1 divided by angle between the forces P and S2. We know that this angle is 90 degrees and this is 60 degrees. Hence, the angle between P and S2 becomes 90 plus 60. Hence, I can write the equation S1 divided by sine 150. Similarly, S2 divided by angle between S1 and P. This angle is given as alpha and this is 90 degrees. Hence, the angle between P and S1 is 90 plus alpha. So, I can write this equation is S2 divided by sine 90 plus alpha. In order to satisfy the condition that larger of the string tension is as small as possible, the only the possible way is the two strings S1 and S2 must be the same. Now, to take, take these two conditions, if S1 is equal to S2, then sine 150 must be equal to sine 90 plus alpha or you can say 150 is equal to 90 plus alpha. After simplifying, I will get alpha is equal to 60 degrees. Once you know that this alpha is equal to 60 degrees, I can substitute this alpha in this equation and I can find the tensions in the strings S1 and S2. Just substitute alpha is equal to 60 degrees. So this becomes sine 150 and this becomes sine 60. Hence, I can write the equation S1 is equal to S2 is equal to by comparing these two equations. S1 is equal to S2 is equal to P by sine 60 into sine 150 or S1 is equal to S2 is equal to 0.577P. Hence, alpha is equal to 60 degrees and S1 is equal to S2 is equal to 0.577p. These two are the answers for this problem. 